Welcome back adventurers, I'm an adventurer like you and I'm playing Crusader Kings 3. We're continuing the saga of the Rurikid dynasty. And we have here our Tsar of Waldorus, Hastein, who is getting on in years, but his wife recently died. And uh, the diplomat that he is, he doesn't want to let the opportunity go to waste. With our new vision, as outlined in the previous episode, to unite all the Slavs also in Central Europe, first of all, and secure the holy sites of our religion, we need to look towards making alliances and getting our dynasty inserted into the noble houses of Central Europe. So we saw that there is a war going on from some Danish upstart ruler um, to subjugate Pomorsko, and we're going to let that play out uh, they are at 90%, so it should be over soon, and then we can grab that. Um, we have our eyes set on some people that we could uh, marry and uh, make alliances with, but this lady, currently in Serbia, she has very interesting claims. Most importantly, she has a claim, a pressed claim, on the Duchy of Bohemia, Czesk. Right? So that's Prague and surroundings. That includes some gold mines, which would be very helpful. Because recently we have been suffering some from lack of money. Also because we invested a lot into building, right? We uh, started building the Grand Temple in uh, Home Guard. So yes, she is uh, also in her late 50s, if I remember correctly. And uh, this is purely a political marriage. This isn't a romance. This isn't getting some young thing into my bed. No. This is purely a political marriage. We both get something that we want. She can get the duchy title and rule the duchy by herself, right? We will have minimal influence in that unless she wants us to. And yes, we get to add an important bit of Central Europe to our realm which would be a bulwark against the encroaching Christian menace. The Catholics are making inroads, right? We saw that Velka Morava has already uh, been converted and they are expanding. So we need to put a stop to that. And this is like an important kingpin in that political game. So that's why we are going to go ahead and forge this marriage. So, uh, that means we need to actually marry her because we still haven't. And uh, she, I put a pin in her here. She is the older Jofi Premislid. There is another Jofi Premislid here, a six year old. And there is another, uh, I believe, a younger sister of this Jovi Premislit, uh, Cecilie. No, there is another one, a child of hers, that one, a third Jovi Premislit. Not to get confused or anything. So, yeah, her spouse died, uh, well, five years ago, six years ago. And uh, we want to pick her up. And she will accept the marriage. We both gain prestige. It's amazing. Uh, children of this marriage will be born into House Rurikid. Chance of children, none. That's because she's 59 years old. And biology just uh, interferes in that case. 
So, let's get married. And in the meantime, also Prince Ivar comes of age, my son. Uh, he's an insane adventurer. I hope he goes on to many adventures. Uh, he is Hale, and that's about it. He is betrothed to someone who's Amazonian, though, so maybe we'll get some interesting offspring from that. Marriage accepted. She will be married to Hastein. Hastein is very happy. What is that? thing on her head. The Tsaritsa has a interesting hat there. Okay. You want everyone to notice you, right? Well, that's fine. Um, we'll go ahead and see if now we can use that claim. No, we can't. Why can't we use this claim? That is very weird. She has a pressed claim on this duchy, right? A pressed claim on this duchy. Is it because she is a lady? And that doesn't work on you. Well, anyway, you will die soon enough. But maybe not before we die. Okay, so it doesn't quite work the way I thought it would. But it doesn't matter as long as she stays in our realm. Um, when the opportunity arises. She can be used to press that claim. The weird thing though is this is a pressed claim but her... Children do not have the same claim. Huh? This one, I mean, she doesn't have that claim. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Cold war to the implacable Tsar Hassan of the Rus. I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Polanyi conquest of the chieftain of Sprotawa. Ah, yes. So this guy is uh, the High Chieftain of uh, Polania. He is under the King of Sorbia. Right? We're inserting ourselves into here. Um, and I'm... He was, he was single, and I married him to my granddaughter. Right. So maybe she can uh, convert him. Um, he has a lot of counties. Well, he only has this, but he is a ruler over a lot of land that belongs to Sorbia. So, yes, we're going to help him. Uh, what is this? The Polania conquest. That's your conquest. And you want this chiefdom. Ah, there. Yes. Slashk or something. Fine. They have uh, a few soldiers, no allies, and you also have a few soldiers, but you have an enormously strong ally. Are you going to do this now that every time you want something, you say, hey, come on and help me, and let me do all the work? You better convert, okay? All right. Yeah, I wish uh, the more complicated, um, what you might call it, it's possible to say, hey, you want this, I want that, let's trade, right? Negotiations, that's the word I was looking for. But uh, yes, we'll, we'll come to your help. We'll come to your help. Um... Oh, and also, in the meantime, these uh, lands that we uh, got last time, I have given to two of my grandsons. One, Count Stanislav, who is um, my son Frodi's son. So he is actually the second one in line for the uh, whole empire. So this way he can start popping out some more genius kids. 
and get some more uh, stewardship experience. His education wasn't so good. That's a bit of a bummer. But okay. Then we have this guy who is also my grandson by my uh, second son, Bard. Um, and uh, he also has not such a good education. But he is a genius. So let him uh, improve his skills and uh, pop, up, pop out some genius kids as well. And I've got put on the timer. That is not so smart. Okay, where are we? We are 10 minutes in. Okay. That's good. That's easy math. Um, are we joined the war? Yes. Not only that, we should very soon also start the wars that we said we would do here in Prothenia Masuria. And we should probably pick up this county Gardinas before Amazovce does. Or Litva. Right. Um, but first we shall... Um, Send over... Well, we can do that at the same time, right? Because we have plenty of armies. Ruthenia, they do have some allies. But they have, like, what? 5,000 soldiers. Yeah, they have some maps in about there. That is uh, a bit of a problem. Well, it's they counter skirmishers, and we have... Uh, invested more into uh, where are they? Uskals, they are heavy infantry, and Varangian veterans that are heavy infantry, and horse archers, our new weapon of choice. Okay, let them uh, replenish a bit, and then we'll go and help them. All right. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so, this one, I'm going to declare for Ruthenia. Yeah, we want to get as far west as we can, right? So let's do this one, and then we can pick up some Gitya later. And then uh, Mazuria as well. Yeah, that's not a problem at all. Uh, High Chief of Mazuria. Yeah, they also have this bit here, but like I said, we can pick that up later. And then uh, we shall raise our armies, I guess. Let's move... which one did we use last time? It was somewhere here. Ah, this one. Let's move that a bit closer to the front lines. There, will do. Um, 8,000 men-at-arms. And the local army. Good. And then uh, nobody else got raised, right? Or nobody else is lost. Because that happens sometimes. Uh, of course, enemy allies joining. You want hostage daughter of the Rus. You want a guardian for stewardship. Let's quickly take care of that. Uh, now, first of all, study language. Um, Wabian, Lithuanian, Bulgar, Bulgarian, yeah. Slavonic language. Why don't you learn Slavonic? Yeah. And then find a stewardship tutor. That Bulgarian Bulgar sounds very similar. That's because they have a common ancestor.
So some of them went um, to the south to Bulgaria, and some of them went to the north to Bulgar, which is like in, in the Ural area. Um, yeah, he's good. Here, Bulgar, which was uh, historically also an important trading partner for um, the uh, the Vikings that settled here. Those, so there's that. Okay, are we done now here? Yes. Okay, so we have this one. You're doing fine so far. Uh, I think if we send over like a thousand men with something we should be fine there here yeah this is a force to be reckoned with and this one should be very easy okay of course the problem is once again that the supply limit is low though here it is higher than before yeah, so like 2300 is nice. And here, what are we fighting over here? This bit? Let's put it down. Oh no, this bit. 2700. Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah, in those tribal forests, which is where we were fighting last time here, there it's very low. So we need to adjust our army size. My daughter Aslaug has been imprisoned by her husband uh, because she's a fornicator and an adulteress. She just can't Stay. Yeah, I heard, I heard this is disputed. Okay, well, it's all very sad, but it is what it is. Um, why don't you go here, merge up, and then we can split this one in half. Yeah, so we have one with five champions, the other one also, and they both have men at arms. And uh, these guys, yeah, maybe split off. Let's send these guys first over here. Um, yeah. Go help them get that back. And here we have the first army. They don't seem too strong. Where are the Prothenians? Are those Prothenians? Russians? Um, who are you? That's I have no idea. Oh, that's the local army, I see. And here there's an army, but we can't see it. It's the fog of war. Um, uh, you're too big for this. Okay. In that case, we'll make this into three armies. Yeah, you stay here for a moment. And let's pull it off those. Some levies and some of these commanders. Inspiration realized. Ah, there she is. Bodil. 
I've heard some concerning things about you. I also see that you are ill. What did you catch down there in India? My lord, my beneficiary Bodil announces her arrival in a surprisingly loud voice. She proudly holds up a package securely wrapped in cloth. I return from Bengal, India with an artifact for my journey. I take the bulky bundle into my hands and loosen the course before peeling layer after layer of fabric. Inside lies a set of armor. Bodil regards the court with the tale of how she came to possess this unusual set, which she is now offering to you. This is famed armor prowess plus seven, number of knights plus one, and some prestige. Wow. Constructed from gold plates masterfully bound together. That is very, uh, very shiny. Magnificent. And she's an adventurer. And um, she's a criminal. Right? Might succeed. I'm going to try and put you in prison upon return from India. Yeah, I know. But uh, apparently you were trying to kill me before you left. So I'm not risking this. I'm not risking this. Okay, you guys, what do we have? No, let's do this and this. Merge. Uh, split in half, and then this one also split in half, I guess. All right, um, you go get them, yeah, you. That's not very promising. So the fourth army is uh, support. You go get them. And uh, let's do this. You. Well, let's start by going here and then we'll see where you are needed. Fourth army is support. Yeah, let's do that. Quite satisfied. Dobrunia has been asking me for a spinning top for a long time, and I told him I would get one for him in three months if he displayed more focus in his studies. He responded he was fine with his current dedication to his studies, reward or no reward. That's a good boy. Okay, so where is the main Prussian army? That is the question. Maybe I should call in my holy order. Or is of Peru. Um, wait a moment. Then I need to get rid of these points. Otherwise, they will go to closest to my capital. We have these, so let's use them, right? They need a commander, though. Not me, the Grand Mistress, yes. Why don't you go... Is that even possible? No. You need to split off. You can't. Okay, I need to send you here then. Not even. Are you even uh, good here? I can only split off like a regiment of archers or archer cow or horse archers. Get it down. And then there's the levies. That sucks. If I'm going to be so uh, straightforward. Let me just go there and see what you can do. New acquisitions. During the daily management of my realm, I have learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically, I can only pursue one of them. I must determine what would ultimately give me the most value. I have heard rumors of a lost tome. 
Um, can't move on a court use. Help managing his holdings or securing those trade deals will fill my treasury. I think that is the right choice. That seems to be the right choice. Okay. And they are doing okay, although they're now being chased by the Prussian army. Okay. And we need to hold court. And Guardian can be a sent for Princess Alexandra. And oh, Guardians. Language first. Let's do East Slavic. That's fine. And then you want a diplomacy education, and that's me. Okay. So we need to keep an eye on what is going on. Uh, they're going back there. Yes. In that case, these guys need to go here so that they are nearby. And these guys as well. Oh, that is a lot of soldiers. Okay, everyone. Get together. Let's do a massive, massive um, battle. Grand Temple constructed in Home Guard. A local mystic insists on seeing me, and upon being brought into my presence, he started wailing. And is there blood on his hands? The signs, the signs are not in your favor, my lord. I spilled the intestines of a hen, and the blood showed me your future. It's dark and full of death. Well, I am 66 years old, so I am kind of expecting to die pretty soon. Well, that is ominous. Yes. Let's go uh, a bit slower. We have the Grand Temple in Home Guard that is now constructed. Here is Home Guard. The Grand Temple brings us plus one tax, plus 500 levies, plus 10% levies size in the county and 10% holding taxes, 20% development growth, and a host of other good stuff. So, the holy site of Home Guard with its Grand Temple is attracting tourists, well, tourists, um, pilgrims, yes. Guardian can be assigned, let's do that before I forget. Friedrich, uh, language, East Slavic, yes. And you want a learning, learning. Learning. Um, carry the kind. Yeah, well, I guess for Dunia will do. And we need to hold court. Um, what are they doing there? That we're all together. Let's see if we can see where they're going and uh, kick their asses. There are rumors that a ghost has been haunting a part of residence for the past few days. Some of the servants reported seeing a strange shadow appear and disappear. However, others are convinced these are just hallucinations. It's probably just another assassin. Can we ask his reds to say some prayers? Um, we have commanders everywhere, right? Good. Now, uh, where are they going? There we go. Cut them down to size. Great. What did we get? We killed, um... Uh, a good bit of them, like two out of five, yeah. All right. Nice. Well done. Schemer discovered. 
Count Orlik is plotting against my niece Edla, and uh, my daughter-in-law Berkthora is plotting, plot, plotting against my daughter Princess Berkthora. Okay. Um, now. Why are you not sieging this? Shouldn't you siege that back? Okay, if not, then, uh, yeah, let's go here. I guess. You guys. Actually, you sent them here. And... Is it this one? Mm, yes. Send them here too. The Great Shade Tree of Jitomir. A village in Jitomir has a giant tree that was planted many generations ago to provide shade for the villagers. It has been something of a popular site for people to visit. Valdav has visited several times and suggested that I could donate some funds to assist him in caring for the tree. To assist in caring for the tree. How much money do they want? 30 gold. Oh, that's, that's acceptable. Yeah. That's acceptable. And uh, here we have our battle Anastaini. Alnastaini. Okay. And we have somebody with a county claim, okay. Uh, that's the other thing I was thinking. We can invite claimants, right? We have plenty of prestige. Let's do that. And one new situation in my court. Okay. I think, yeah, they are going to siege this down. They are a bit over the limit, though, so one of them needs to go somewhere else. Um, where are they exactly? These are also moving in there? Yeah. Okay. And we win this. Okay, victory. Great. Uh, rabbit stew. It seems that Astis has discovered firsthand what happens when a whole bunch of rabbits are kept together in close quarters. Ooh. Showing some wisdom, the rabbit keeper told them a little lie that they would have baby rabbits delivered by crane soon, although they provoked Astis pity by mentioning that the rabbits would be eaten in due course. Astis begged me to allow them to keep a baby rabbit as a pet, sparing it from becoming our dinner. It certainly would teach them to care for another living creature. Hmm. That's not bad. Chaste or trusting? No, 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 no. Compassionate. That works for me. All right. It's uh, midwinter, so it is time to hold court while well, they keep fighting, of course. But yes, we have. Uh, I'm not here. Oh, I am here. Here, here I am. Finger bones of a tsar. A peddler in a cloak with dozens of baubles and knickknacks soon into it rattles up to me. My lord, I have an artifact of grand illusion, which with which you may convince all you possess. With, I've had this one before. It's, it's not immediately obvious how to read it. With which you may convince all you possess magical power. The word that in the middle there would help. She brandishes a colorful fabric worn on a very thin string. It appears dormant at first, but by manipulating that thread, one can affect the illusion the worm has come to life. Think of how this will impress the ladies at court. I'm not played puppet master, or I do enjoy some wriggling. I do enjoy some wriggling, yeah. Play with the little kids. Okay, hold court. There we go. Yeah, now we're missing the music. I'm still doing this thing where I'm 
trying this without the music but for this event having the music really helps though i just want more variety and of course i want no sharks to come and claim copyright to the game sounds but anyway just to, for the first in line to approach over the last few days i've heard tell of a mighty hero of the peasantry who has won the hearts and minds of the common people through incredible deeds and matchless bravery this hero who goes by the name Horotke has been defending the small folk from the Polish raiders and has now traveled away to Kernogard to seek an audience with me. There is no doubt that he is a great hero. However, my court are adamant that I do not elevate a commoner beyond their station. Horotke Zade? Well, what do you mean beyond their station? He is a nobleman. He is ambitious, that's a bit dangerous. He's humble and brave. He's, by all accounts, a very, very good person to have. You shall be rewarded with a place in my household for 300 friggin' gold pieces. True hero deserves a position worthy of their skills. I grant him a county? Yeah, I don't think so. You shall be honored as the hero you are, or you are an impertinent peasant, nothing more. And I lose stress. You will gain imprisoned frontier hero. That's not good. Um, I would say hire him as a champion, right? You shall be rewarded with a place in my household. Every knight loses 15 opinion of me because they are insulted, because I didn't take their advice. Or Count Stepan of Breslau, who is in prison for some reason. Why is he in prison? Oh, he is uh, in a conf he was in a conflict with him. Interesting. And this is part of Paltiskuborg. Yeah, we could do worse. It gets the county becomes my vassal. Well, my vassal's vassal, right? It appears. Stepan lose opinion of me, but he's in prison anyway. So what can he do? Yeah, let's do that. And he is now stripped of his... Um, Yaldom, apparently. Okay. A land of barbarians, my lord, I regret to inform you that I am in at the end of my tether. My vassal Yar Olaf is clearly exasperated. The people over which I should rule are an uncontrollable mob of unruly barbarians. Welcome to my world. With ridiculous customs and a terrible taste for food. All my efforts so far have been in vain. It just seems impossible to make civilized people out of them. I'm afraid a strong intervention from above is the only solution available now. Lev, show them the right way. Promote culture in the county of Talava. Okay. Show them our greatness. They'll change their mind. I lose 300. Oh, no, I'm not paying 300 gold for some cultural thing. No. We respect the traditions of all our subjects. Hmm. As long as they pay their taxes, I don't care. But I am diligent. So I'll send uh, Lev to promote our culture, or our clearly superior culture. Right. We are, after all, arrogant as well as diligent. So we shall show them. Um, does she at least have good skills? No. Okay, so that was a mistake, right? If we can't push her claim. Anyway, uh, the enemy within, my brother-in-law, your easiest love, can barely contain his rage. Erupting something must be done about that Khazar outsider. Uh, he gesticulates wildly. I have quite enough of Countess Bortild and her ridiculous customs. Everything about them is alien to East Slavic virtues. Well, she did adopt our faith, so what are you complaining about? It is time for our foreign subjects to adopt the mores of their betters. Our nobility must be Hazar Meshur Rus. I gain dread, cultural acceptance decreases. He gains opinion of me. Every Hazar counting the Rus will be harder to integrate. 
and it's possible that Count Bortild agrees and adopts the, our culture. Um, there is much you could learn from other traditions. Botil is a loyal vassal, or the Rus is a land of many peoples. Again, I wouldn't choose that because I'm arrogant. So our nobility must be of our culture. Um, I don't think we have many Hazar vassals. We have some counties, probably. Well, let's choose that. She agrees, and she adopts our culture. That is great. And my business here is done. All right. There we go. Yeah, um, so we have, let's face, cultures. We still have some, uh, yeah, Vepsian and other cultures. Here, the Hazar are in this part that we took from Hazaria. Yeah, see, the Greeks are taking over here. I do not agree with that. I do not agree with that. Um, yeah, well... All right. Back to the war. Back to the war. How are we doing here? Siege is in progress. It'll take seven months. Okay. It seems we're doing fine here. There isn't an immediate threat. Here, we won this one. Okay. That's good. And... That's irrelevant to us, right? I mean, our... Polanyi conquest of Tumors for Tower... No, that's... Okay, this one, I mean. Yeah, we want this bit. That is not really relevant to our... You... You joined them in their defense... It's on between us. It's on between us, Yaroslav. Yeah. You lost my respect. This is a holy war, and they're not of your faith. Okay, he has a claim on the High Chiefdom of Masuria. Ah, yeah, well, that's nice. We're already taking it. So. Mazovci, that would be interesting. Or Sorbia, or Pomerl. What happened here? He won the war, and he became the ruler of Pomerl. It just renames Pomer now. He's the Asato Norse ruler, and he is now independent from Denmark. Interesting. He's a king, though. All right. That's up next. Um. Yeah. We're having a bit of trouble with the fort level because. Uh, we don't have siege weapons everywhere, right? These guys don't have any siege weapons. They don't have any siege weapons. They don't have any siege weapons. They don't have any. And they don't have any. So they all went to uh, Poland. Or whatever this is. Okay. So it will take longer here. Yeah, where are they regrouping? Okay, I've concluded my task, converting faith in Jitomir. Okay. Um, now we captured him. Well, he is maimed anyway. They wouldn't give money for him, so... You can stay, I guess. And you need to convert faith. Yeah... Uh, Kursun, I guess. Let's keep an eye on them. 
This is just 166, that's easy. Uh -huh. A claim on the High Chieftain of Prothenia, yeah. Well, that also is not really relevant because we're taking them already. Betrothed can marry Rostislava, my daughter, and my nephew Cosma. Alright. Schemer discovered. Yeah, he is quite a, a schemer, right? I don't like him because he attempted to murder my family member, yeah. He is my champion, though, so you better fight well. I can put you in prison. My son, Eva, is about to leave court. Why would you do that? At my court in Novosil. Why are you in Novosil? We are in Kurnogad. Why do they think I'm in Novosil? Anyway. Rostislava comes of age. That is great. And, um, yeah, why are we sieging down this? Just for the war score, I guess. And they are... Doesn't matter, they are the enemy. Yeah, if you leave the besiegers there and you go take them. Education at the end. Ingebjörg has come of age. Okay. And they will take the opportunity to attack my besiegers, I bet. I have arrived in Kunagar to pay homage to you, glorious Tsar, as a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts, worthy of your majesty, as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Yal Zigbjörn of Ryasan, are you the second or the third? Ah, oh, the second. I think you've done this before, but I am I always welcome money. And he takes me. I accept your generous gifts. Okay. Now... Uh, yeah, they're coming for this, and we're gonna lose all those besiegers. And we send an army to help them. Oh, okay. Yes, um, we should, yeah, you should go take them. And uh, here, yeah, also, go and take them out. And we're losing this battle. Come on, quickly. Okay, we control Skalava, that's great. And Sprotava, that is great. And we have victory. That is excellent. We took a prisoner. A little child, who's little, little, a dwarf child, a newborn. Um, will they pay for you? A weak hook. Just a weak hook on you. They're not interested in you. Whatever. Go to your mama. Um, friend attacks. I see. And we have another prisoner here. Um, okay. 37. That's nice. We're making progress. These, these guys are done now, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. A nice work it's sigil on their shields. Okay, so this war is over. Go back here and help us here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's great. 
Outliving a child. My daughter, Princess Arsenog, has died. Oh, she was taken prisoner, right? Um, by her husband, Chieftain Chippers of Saratow. I mean, I can't really blame him because uh, she was an adulteress and a fornicator. Right? I mean, these children might not even be his. So, unforgivable crime. I gain stress. Yeah, I need to lose stress. Unforgivable crime. Well, yeah. Count Lev is my steward, so that is good. Mazava, she's a genius child. She's waiting to get married back into my family, my dynasty. That's all well, my family, my grandson, yeah. And uh, Tundava, disputed heritage, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. You guys, go here. And that's also, you should also go somewhere, like here. I think this is just... Okay, that's good. Valuable hostage, but not valuable enough. I seized the Warhammer. Nice. Okay, uh, ransom accepted. Alliance expired with Chieftain Shippaz. Ah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. The mother, and she's pregnant. If they pay ransom, I'll let you go. Okay, and do we have anybody else? It's a chieftain. Chieftain Sotoria. Sotoria. Yeah, you're not very strong, so... Will they pay for you? 11. Cannot afford a full ransom 75. I guess you're staying. Yeah, this is a problem because they are just levies. So... Important hard work. My ward, Jarl Edla, has been impressed with one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, she has been repeating the warrior's words to herself. Work hard and you can master anything. Diligent. Yeah, that's good. She's betrothed to my son Alexei. Yes. Nice. And what's happening here? Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I was afraid of that. So we're almost done with Prussia. Um... So why don't we send these over there? Hmm. Would they? No. Stay here. Okay. Merge. Station procedures. Yeah, that worked well. Slovyanskan exaltation. Vedunia Feodosia is by many considered a paragon of Slovyanskan virtue. Her spotless conduct and tireless work as a scholar and a preacher have helped to reinvigorate the faith significantly in the last few years. How commendable! Battle is over. He wants to. You don't. Akka, that's in the far north. Yeah, do what you want there. That's fine. 
Purchase truce. Who are you? Martuba? He pays 300 to us. Martuba, where are you? Ah, that. That bit. Yes, that's fine. That is fine. We'll take your gold for another 10 years of truce with you. We would actually give you an alliance if you asked for it. And education and end for my what Boris, my grandson Boris. And it wasn't a very good. <laughs> and of course now they can marry. All right, these can go. All right. Battle is over. Lev. Oh, just another lev. Ah, from the order, from our holy order. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're doing good here. Go beat them. It's just a matter of time. Itchy. I kept feeling itchy in a certain spot today for no reason as far as I could tell. I scratched it, but the itch would come back. Oh. Scratch. Oh. And I've been overwhelmed by stress now. Goodness. Um, lately it feels as uh, I, like I am constantly being distracted by lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardship of my everyday life, it's all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? A trip to the brothel will bring relief. Yes, and STDs. A good workout will burn these desires away. That is probably what I should do. A good workout. Alright. Yeah. And we have another victory. Your son learned the Greek language. That's great. Valuable hostage captured. Great. We now have Rothenia, at least the duchy title, and uh, yeah, they still have these two counties, right? And we almost have Mazuria, so yeah, just let them let them do their job. Let them do their job. See. And I'll control Galinda, and we have another bit there. Disband all. And that is it. See, we now have another access to the uh, Baltic Sea. And we are now bordering Pomeroon, which is our next task. Because we want this holy site, Rana. And then we need to take care of Mazov today. Also have a holy site here, which but that's of less importance to us. And yes, we still want Sorbia and Czech. And of course the rest here, but um, yeah, maybe this is the movement we need to make. Woman on Sorbia, and then this. Oh. Yes, um, okay, I will take care of the rest of our prisoners after this, and we can develop capital. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, and I have some domains to uh, redistribute, and I will do that after the recording. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, and make sure to check back again next time. See you then.